Hello everyone, you are highly welcome to my channel. Our topic for today is addition and subtraction of fractions. Here, we have four different approaches. The first approach is when we have the same number as our denominators. What do we do? When we have the uh, same number as our denominators, what you do is pick one of the numbers as your LCM, add the numerators or subtract the numerators depending on the question. The second approach is when we have two different numbers as our denominators, but the first thing you need to check is the bigger number a multiple of the smaller number. If the bigger number is a multiple of the smaller number, then you pick the bigger number as your LCM and you continue solving. The fourth approach is when you have the fourth approach that's um, the third approach, sorry, is when you have two different numbers as a denominator, but one is not a multiple of another. It means what you need to do here, write out all the multiple of the two denominators, then pick out the common multiple. That becomes your LCM. The fourth approach, which is the last approach, is when you have two different or common denominators. What do you do in this sense? Multiply the two the two denominators to become your LCM. Now, let us start solving. The first one, here we have same denominator. So we pick one. 6 and 6, so we pick 1. When we pick 1, we have plus, so what we do is to add up the numerators. So we have 1 plus 1 to give us 2 all over 6. We cannot leave our answers like this because it's yet to be in, in its lowest form. So what we do is to look for a number that would successfully divide both of them without remainder. And our answer, of course, is 2 because 2 is, two is an evil number and is the lowest. So 2 divided by 2 2, 6 divided by 2 also, we have 1 all over 3. This is your final answer. Please, when you are reducing to lowest term, do not use different numbers. Look for the same number that would divide both the numerator and the denominator successfully without remainder. Question number 2. Here, we have two different denominators. Now, check. Is 12 a multiple of 3? How do you know that? When you recite three multiplication table, do we have 12 there? Yes. 3 times 12 to 3 times 4 gives us 12. That means 12 is our LCM. So we choose 12 here, pick 12 as our LCM. How many 3 can we have in 12? 3 times what will give us 12? 4. 4 times 2 will give you 8. Minus 12 into 12. That means 12 times what will give you 12? 1. 1 times 1, 1. It will give us 8 minus 1, we have 7 all over 12. We cannot reduce more than this because 12 is not a multiple of 7. That's the final answer. Number 3. Our denominators here are 6 and 12, and 6 and 15. 15 is not a multiple of 6. So what do we do? And obviously, 15 and 6, they are two different numbers. So that leads us to the third principle, where we have to write out the multiple of 6 and write out the multiple of 12. So the multiple of 6 here, we have equal to 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and so on. Now, the multiple of 15, we have 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, and so on. Now, let me quickly explain this. How do you get this multiple? 6 times 1, 6. 6 times 2, 12. 6 times 3, 18. 6 times 4, 24, and so on. That's how you get the multiple. Now, 15. 15 times 1, 15. 15 times 2, 30. 15 times 3, 45. And that's how you get your multiple of 15. Now, check. Do we have any common multiple? Yes. 30 is our common multiple. So, 30 is our LCM. Now, draw a big line and put your 30 there. How many 6 can you find in 30? 5. 5 times 5 will give you 25. Put a negative sign there. How many 15 can you find in 30? 2. 2 times 1. 2. So your answer would be equal to 25 minus 2. We have 23 all over 30. And this cannot be reduced anymore. Now, we have, we have solved questions on the first three principles. Now, let's get to the fourth principle. 
Question number four. We have two A and B. They are both uncommon, uh, uncommon denominators. There is nothing common here. So what do we do? Multiply the both the two denominators to give you your LCM. So your LCM will be equal to two A multiplied by B, which is equal to two A B. Now draw your line the two A B. Now two A into two A B. 2a, we cancel out 2a, leaving out b. So b times 3. Put it in brackets. Plus, how many b? And um, b in 2ab. b, we cancel out b, leaving out 2a. 2a times 4. b times 3 equal to 3b. Plus, 2a times 4. 4 times 2 here. Yeah. You have A's, include the A, all over 2AB. This is your final answer. Please, let me do a run through. When you have the same number as the denominator, please just pick one, add or subtract your numerator. That's how to solve for that. That's how to solve you using the first principle. Now, when you have two different numbers as your denominator, check, is the bigger one a multiple of the smaller one? If yes, then pick the bigger one as your LCM. Continue solving. When you have two different numbers as, the, as your denominators, but the bigger number is not a multiple of a smaller number, what do you do? Write out the multiple of 6. Write out the multiple of 15. Now, pick. The common one becomes your LCM. And when you have two uncommon denominators here, what do you do? Multiply the two denominators to give you your LCM. Please, do not multiply do not multiply. You have big, big numbers when you can obviously use smaller numbers. Please follow this principle. Help those with um, weak mathematics foundation. Share this page. Drop questions on the um, on my comment box. And let me give you a classwork. In my next class, I'll be checking. I'll be checking for the right with the students with the right answers. As time goes on, you'll be given gifts. Please solve this. We'll see in the next class. Thank you very much.